Both upgrades and changes are two words that SpaceX has consistently applied throughout its rocket development journey from past to present. Certainly Starship is no exception. It's been continuously modified by SpaceX with over a thousand upgrades since the first launch explosion. And we're not just talking about the one that happened back in April. Among these upgrades and changes is one of the most eagerly anticipated for Starship. And that is hot staging, which is recently installed atop Booster 9. This is a significant advancement that brings SpaceX closer to the success of the upcoming Starship launch. So stay tuned as we dive into this and more in today's episode of Mr. Baig. After undergoing a static fire test at the launch site, Booster 9 was transported back to the production site for refurbishment. During this process, in addition to preparing for supplementary tests, Booster 9 has completed the installation of its own hot staging mechanism. Right after a SpaceX representative shared images of the significant Super Heavy upgrade on the X social media platform. Venied, Interstage, and Heat Shield installed atop Booster 9. Starship and Super Heavy are being upgraded to use a separation method called Hot Staging, where Starship's second stage engines will ignite to push the ship away from the booster. Furthermore, Elon Musk also reshared SpaceX's post accompanied by a status update. Interstage extension for hot gas venting added to enable Starship to turn on its engines while booster engines are still firing. The design appears to align with Musk's vision for the Starship. His tweet serves as a reaffirmation once again of the solidity and reliability of such a grand technical marvel. And honestly, this is the most eagerly anticipated design for the second launch, which could take place later this month. After the initial launch on April 20 before deciding to ignite the second stage, there was an effort to separate the ship from the booster, but it was unsuccessful, leading to a chaotic and uncontrollable situation afterward. And so the hot staging method is one of the thousands of upgrades for Starship that Elon Musk mentioned about two months after the explosion. He expressed a 60% probability of success for the upcoming flight, a significant increase from the first attempt. SpaceX specifically made these changes to the Super Heavy booster to prevent any damage to the first stage due to thrust of the second stage. Commonly used on Russian rockets, the hot staging design could end up increasing Starship's payload to orbit capacity by 10%. The new hot staging ring at the top of the first stage is designed to divert the flames away from the rocket's tanks and other sensitive equipment. The hot stage loadhead uses several items from previous Starship boosters, such as the clamps that were already part of a previous booster, and the top and bottom rings that have been cut off from both a booster and the upper stage Starship. The front dome portion of the booster has also been removed, and a vent hole has been added on its top. This critical addition, known as the vented interstage, plays a central role in the hot staging mechanism that SpaceX is implementing for its upcoming orbital test flight attempt. The super-hot plasma streams from the upper stage engines and will exit through these vent holes to minimize the impact on the upper surface near the booster's fuel tanks. This vented interstage consists of a collar at the top and a fairing at the bottom. The lower section will firmly attach to the top of the Super Heavy booster as the front dome section is still present on the latest rocket SpaceX has launched. In addition to the vented interstage, SpaceX will add another ring primarily for structural support. This payload nose cone will be connected to the Phase 2 Starship through a series of clamps. SpaceX is also using a heat shield at the top of the Super Heavy booster to thermally insulate its rocket. A single Raptor engine can generate hundreds of thousands of pounds of thrust, while the second stage engines might not fire at full throttle at the separation point, they will still deliver quite a punch. All of these new features truly serves an outstanding design. SpaceX's courage in trying different things for the Starship so rapidly and consistently never ceases to amaze me. Upgrading the Super Heavy with the additional hot stage applies an increase in both the height and mass of the booster. This has reminded many of Musk's tweet in July about plans to enhance the power of the Raptor, which applies an increase in both the height and mass of the booster. This has reminded many of Musk's tweet in July about plans to enhance the power of the Raptor engines for the Starship. Looks like we can increase Raptor thrust by around 20% to reach 9,000 tons or 20 million pounds of force at sea level, and deliver over 200 tons of payload to a useful orbit with full and rapid reusability. That would mean an expendable Starship is able to carry a payload of up to 250 to 300 tons to orbit. 
Improved thrust and ISP from Raptor will enable around 6,000 ton liftoff mass, Musk said. The enhanced thrust and an increased specific impulse derived from the Raptor V2 engines will further elevate Starship's capabilities. With this, Musk's inspiring vision for a multi-planetary future is viable. As he envisions 50 rockets launching every three days on average, contributing to an annual payload capacity surpassing a megaton of cargo to orbit. While the activities at Starbase remain bustling and dynamic with the production of Starship, SpaceX has also achieved a significant milestone on paper. And this is not just any milestone, as it signals that SpaceX has completed the investigation into the test launch of Starship on April 20, ending about four minutes after liftoff following engine anomalies and other issues during ascent. Now it's the FAA's turn to review SpaceX's investigation, fulfilling the agency's role as the regulatory body responsible for ensuring public safety in commercial launch operations. When a final mishap report is approved, it will identify the corrective actions SpaceX must make, an FAA spokesperson said. Separately, SpaceX must modify its license to incorporate those actions before receiving authorization to launch again. In the typical style of SpaceX's Starship program, predicting the company's next endeavor to launch a fully integrated towering Starship rocket at a height of around 120 meters has proven to be quite the challenge. Musk had mentioned in mid-June that the company could potentially be prepared for another Starship test flight within six to eight weeks. However, this generous timeline has now expired. Nevertheless, SpaceX's efforts in restoring and upgrading the Starship launch platform at the Starbase facility have been completely successful. This was evidenced through the Super Heavy Booster's static fire test of the Starship rocket conducted on August 6. But despite the achievement, the hot fire test concluded prematurely, covering only half of the planned five-second duration, with multiple Raptor V2 engines shutting down. Notably, several Raptor engines on the Super Heavy booster also ceased operation prematurely during the April 20 test flight. This incident raised concerns about the reliability of SpaceX's new engine. However, the company is actively engaged in designing a new V3 or version 3 of the Raptor engine to address these apprehensions. Another issue that also falls within the FAA's evaluation is the self-destruct mechanism of the Starship. This mechanism exhibited an extended delay in annihilating the vehicle as it veered uncontrollably high above the Gulf of Mexico. The flight termination system on the Super Heavy booster consumed approximately 40 seconds from initiation to the rocket's disintegration. Back in May, Musk mentioned that adjusting the flight termination system might take more time than any other preparations for the upcoming second test flight of the Starship. Currently, there isn't much information available about this matter, but SpaceX still has some time to prepare for the next launch. With their rapid development and adaptability, it's entirely possible for them to overcome any challenges. In short, with lessons learned from the initial test launch, SpaceX is poised to make strides in its forthcoming endeavors. The insights gained from the first launch along with the enhancements to Booster 9 and the utilization of hot statching set the stage for a potentially transformative era of space exploration. As the company fine-tunes its strategies and technologies, the upcoming launches of improved Starship and Super Heavy vehicles are eagerly anticipated in the coming weeks and months. And that's it for today's episode. We hope you enjoyed it and learned something new. Your feedback is very important to us and helps us make better videos for you. So thank you so much for watching and see you next time.